Hey, what's up guys? Cypher. Uh, kind of going back to the single commentary for this video. Uh, a little bit of an update video, but I also wanted to talk about this gameplay. This is some awesome gameplay. Um, uh, you know, I kind of took the weekend off. I've been doing a lot of videos, so I kind of took a few days. That's why my channel's been quiet. Um, but I logged on last night for this gameplay, and this was a blast. Um, basically, each team had three healers. It basically comes down to a tiebreaker, you know, which team, you know, randomly gets picked, which was horrible. Um, but it was still an awesome game. Um, I think we lost that tiebreaker. But with the three healers, uh, you could lay down some massive damage. Um, I don't think these guys, uh, you know, they, they weren't really organized. It was just basically another pug group. But they were really clumped up, all their healers and all their DPS, which made some amazing AoE. Um, so yeah, this game, I was really able to just sit back and do my thing. Uh, it's one of the highest recorded damage games I have. Um, I have gotten 800 before, just touched the 800s, but I wasn't able to record it. So, you know, a lot of people say, oh, that didn't happen, you know. I'll get it one day. I'll get it on video. Um, but this is the closest thing I have to that so far. Um, and basically... You know, I probably could have put down another 50, 60k, got it closer to that 800. But you'll see in a few moments, I kind of go a little rogue. Just, I don't want to die, and I just kiting these marauders, not doing any damage for a, a uh, you know, period of time. They get an arm on us on this other door. Uh, everybody was just so concentrated on DPS and healing. We kind of, uh, you know, slacked a little bit on this other door. Um, we ended up holding them though for the next little area quite a long time though. Uh, we had a decent team, like I said, both sides had three healers. It was pretty even all around. Um, but uh, I, I want to start. I'm going to start doing a little bit more Marauder footage too. I know I've been doing a lot of this bounty hunter, but uh, you know I, I really don't like running my Marauder without a healer. It just makes it a lot more fun. Um, but you can still get away with running in pugs uh, by yourself on. Merc especially because it's so good at line of sighting and you know you have their range advantage you're not getting stunned trapped all the time um, I've just gotten spoiled running with a healer with melee that makes me not want to do it now if I don't have one um, but yeah we held them right here at this, the bridge point for a long time um, I think I'd go for an AOE right there line of sight and then just completely fail right there I may have got two people of maybe two or three ticks of that death, death from above. They're finally starting to gang up on me here a little bit. This is a cool little trick if you're kiting somebody you can hop up on those barrels and get back up to the top area. Um, that's a pretty cool way like if a melee is attacking you. Um, it really tests the other players jumping skill. Um, you know if they're, you know, basically, uh, you know, test their skill all around, uh, line of sighting, doing little tricks like that, jumping over something. You'll be surprised how many people will be just hammering away DPSing on you. And if you jump up on something or jump over something, it's like they're, they're lost. Uh, so definitely try that more. Try and get up on stuff, jump, you know, go around stuff. I've really noticed a lot of melee struggle to even stay facing you. I'm not talking about, you know, ridiculous skill player, but a lot of the average players, you can outsmart by just doing little stuff like that. But yeah, I didn't get messed with too hard. I think there's one spot up here that, um, I had a melee just attacking me, and I, that's what I was saying, you know, I just kind of got, um, you know, a lot of my damage loss right here. Also, I want to do another video, uh, like updating my character, showing you guys my gear, you know, what I'm augmenting. Um, I just hadn't have a lot of time lately. I uh, just kind of took the weekend off, like I said. Um, and uh, I was, you know, getting a little burnout. So, uh, you know, I'm going to try and space my videos out a little bit more. Um, really, from now on, I'll probably be live streaming on the weekends, the two or three videos during the week. And I'm going to try and cut my. Uh, basically just play time down in general play some other games a little bit just so I don't get burnt out as quickly Hit this guy all over me got a fear off charges back though 
You guys, definitely the carnage tree. As you saw that small leap. I wish I had a stem facing this guy. I think if I'd had a stem attacking this guy, uh, I would have killed him. Um, definitely didn't have one. Got lucky right here. Went for a jump. Cleansed myself. Got some few heals here. Yeah, if I'd had the stem, this would have been an easy kill because I would have gone toe to toe and just, you know, able to actually put some DPS instead of line of sight him. But I'm losing all my damage right here. I should have just taken the death, not having the stem. I thought I was going to lose him right here. Um, couldn't outsmart this guy. And he started getting healed up at that point, too, by a healer. So a few deaths in here, and still able to hit that 700k mark uh, with three deaths, and, uh, you know, at least a minute where I wasn't DPS and very strong, if any. We get really close to the cap right there. I'm really surprised that auto attack even went off right there and hit him. But yeah, um, you know, give me some feedback in the comments. I mean, do you guys want to see more single commentary like this? Uh, you know, more Marauder gameplay. I know a lot of people want to see that. Um, I really need to try and get on that. Um, you know, guides at this point, it's really just when it comes to me and, you know, something really special. Um, I don't like to do a lot of, like, small, smaller ones. Uh, I like it to be, you know, grouped up. I'll pair a few small things with uh, some of the bigger stuff. So I really don't have a schedule for those. But like I said, two or three videos a week, live stream on the weekend. Hopefully I'll be able to keep to that schedule without getting burnt out. Melee really starting to pick on me here. Um... We had a lot of healers, but uh, I don't know if we just didn't have one on the side at the time, or, you know, they were probably getting just railed the entire time and having to do a lot of self-healing. Decent AoE right there. Could have been a little bit better, to a little bit to the left. That's one thing I've noticed. You have to be really picky with your AoEs. Make sure you, uh, you know, you're basically not wasting it, because the radius on death from above is just ridiculous right now. It's so small. Um, I really hate that. I love the. Oh, I used to love the old method. It just used to hit everything. Slow delivery, big hits. Um, you know, it was. I think it was by far better. I. I don't like the short, uh, small radius cast time at all. Oh, guys, something I forgot to mention. The mic may be a little bit cracky during the second half, and maybe a little bit in the first half. Uh, I mean, I am aware of it. I'm trying to get it worked out. I just couldn't find a solution for the time being, so that's what that is. This round kind of uh, starts out a little bit slow. Uh, we definitely could have done something, uh, you know, a little bit better. But at this point, it, it was kind of like neck and neck. Everybody was just going for kills. Uh, trying to get some pressure on the door, but it seems like we could have definitely uh, done something a little better to win this match. Um, but I think everybody at this point was kind of like they knew it was a stalemate, so it was just like, you know, I don't, I don't know why people, uh, in generally at the beginning of this were just playing so far back. It was ridiculous. Um, that may be a, a product of having so many healers and they're all wanting to. Um, I, I switch sides right here because we're not doing anything on the other side playing that far back. Um, but yeah, I guess it's because we had, we had so many healers and uh, they just did not want to get in the middle of everything. I naturally kind of play on the edges, but um, it really hurts if your entire team plays like that. Um, we have people like just standing back there. I don't know what's going on. Right here I actually used my get out of CC ability to break a snare because I knew he was going to snare me all the way to that heal and sometimes you know you got to play smart and you just got to use that if you know especially if it's a heal or something along those lines get rid of that snare off of you uh, you know so you can get that heal or get out of trouble so you know I do occasionally use that on a snare.
You also have your shields, which also break snares, so keep that in mind. Uh, it's just situational, uh, depending on if you don't have it up and if it's that critical. Which of the shield breaking snares is just ridiculous. I love that. It's awesome, and it's on a decent cooldown, too. Another Marauder trying to pick on me. Nice rail shot to finish him off. Really good AOE right here. Got a lot of ticks off on that. And another Marauder. Jeez, they're just all over me. Uh, this really hurt my DPS. Um, facing these marauders like this and you know not being able to do my thing yeah really bad stalemate here on this first door uh, we did not do as good a job putting pressure on them as they did um, I just don't know if we, were, we were probably a little short on the DPS I think at the end we had two guys that were really high everybody else was just kind of mediocre and then our of course three heals also uh, affects the DPS Tried getting some marks out here just so people would focus a little bit better, but the cross healing of two to three healers is just ridiculous sometimes. You really can't, uh, you know, do a lot about it. Um, I think this guy cleanses my dots somewhere in here, which is, yeah, that's really BS. I hate it. So a lot of things I change about this class right now just to make it more competitive. Um, I mean, it can still do really high damage, lead the charge, um, but you are at a disadvantage throwing out a CC there. Um, you know, as far as overall play, uh, Power Tech can definitely do more uh, in the same hands. Uh, you know, same player, same skill. Um, it is nice having the range sometimes to do this dot damage and stuff you're not getting picked on, uh, but there's a couple of things. Man, I really wish I, you know, I could change about this class to make it a little bit better. It doesn't need a huge boost, it just needs some slight tweaking. I think we get a ninja arm somewhere right here. Which I was kind of shocked. It was just a deadlock. Um, you know, a lot of you have probably been in games like this where no one can make any progress and just straight DPS and healing. Um, I think it's that guy actually right there about to get it. See. Yep, detected. got it. Uh, I know I've watched a lot of other Merc videos, and uh, a lot of times they forget to use that fusion missile in AOE situations, which is a big, you know, really helps out your DPS and getting an a, a AOE dot, which is nice. Um, so if you guys play a Merc, try not to forget about that. Uh, use some cooldowns if you don't want to cast it. Uh, but I definitely still use it. It's still in my rotation. Eaten alive by Marauder. This was really messed up right here, having the spawn way back here. Um, man, I really wish when the doors blow, you respawn on the other platform, but I don't know if they're going to fix that. The other thing I kind of wanted to talk about, as far as like an update video standpoint, I know this is kind of. Uh, I'm a little all over the place in this video just because I'm, you know, doing. The, I didn't expect this gameplay to guess. I guess go this well. Um, I was just gonna use it for, you know, update video. I knew it was a really good gameplay, but I didn't expect a 700. Um, some kind of like dual commentating here, of you know, damage and uh, you know, update video. Um, but I'm also looking for another game to play to put on my channel. Um, I really like to have two games to play just so I don't get burnt out on one. And you know it, it, you know, it just makes it easier on me not to get burnt out, and uh, you know, bring more viewers overall. Uh, you know, it it really makes a little variety with my channel. Um, it makes more people from other games see that I, you know, you know what Star Wars is about, and vice versa. Uh, so it, you know, it really helps out overall having two games on the channel to bring more attention to one. Um, so I'm really looking for another a game to play. Um, I mean, I could always do, you know, World of Warcraft, you know, beta footage or whatnot. Uh, I could do, you know, a first-person shooter. 
Um, I just don't know what to play for my second game. Um, man, I'm not sure. I really don't want to do Guild Wars. Uh, it's not, you know, that I'm a, you know, Guild Wars hater. It's just not my play style. Um, I'm just not really into it. Um, you know, I really, if I had to choose between Guild Wars and WoW, I would rather do WoW videos. Uh, especially with the, you know, their expansion coming out. Um, but let me know what you guys think. What other game should I add to my channel? I'm not sure about that. Um, I'm still thinking about it. But, yeah, 700k on this game. That was a really nice DPS game with the six healers between the teams. Um, look at the score a little bit here. Another guy at 400. I'm not sure if that guy was Power Tech or Merc. That's a good question. I don't see a lot of... Uh, mercs up there, uh, so that would be awesome if that guy was a merc uh, doing that kind of damage. Um, I'm also looking for more videos to link at the end of my videos. If you guys have anything, uh, you know, let me know. If uh, you know, I'm always trying to figure out better ways to get you know Star Wars community involved and grow. Uh, so if you find a cool video, let me know. I'll like it. Uh, you know, if there's a video you made that you want me to add at the end uh, to you know kind of you know show what you're about or your gameplay that is really cool or really cool guy just let me know and I will talk to you guys later in the week